Hi there folks and welcome to Get Strumming. Now today I'm going to show you how to play Helen Wheels by Paul and Linda McCartney. So farewell to my last hotel, never was but kind of a bold. And so basically what I'm going to do with this session is break it up into three bits. First of all I'm going to show you the, the chords which is really simple because you only need two chords. Then I'm going to show you the little lick that occurs at the beginning of the song, at the end of every chorus. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to play the bass part. Now, this tuition is ideal for both soloist duos and trios. So if you've got more than one ukulele player, then you can split it up into different sections. So let's have a look then. So we're going to look at, first of all, the A major chord. So for anybody who's a beginner on the ukulele, this song is ideal because all you need are two chords. So you're going to use your first finger on the first fret, third string. That's the third string from the floor. So there we go. One, two, three. And then your second finger goes on the second fret, fourth string. And that's the string closest to your face. So that's the A major chord. And then finally, we just need an E major chord. So what we're doing is first finger on the second fret, first string. That's the string closer to the, to the ground. Then your second finger goes on the fourth fret, fourth string. Third finger goes on the fourth fret, third string. And your fourth finger, your pinky, goes on the fourth fret, uh, second string. So that's an E major. And that's all you need chord wise. So let's now have a look at the strumming. So this is what I tend to do. And what am I doing there? Well, I'll slow it down for you. I'm going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So there we go. So that's, that's basically the rhythm throughout the entire song. So let me just play the first verse and see if you can follow what I'm doing, okay? One, two, three, four. Said farewell to my last hotel It never was much kind of a bone Glasgow town never brought me down When I was heading out on the road Carlisle City never looked so pretty And the candle freeway is fast Slow down drive, I want to stay We didn't even need to change chord. So let's now go into the chorus, okay? After four. A one, two, three, four. Helen, Helen. to the E major and it's just one strum never gonna take her up and then back to A so that's where the little riff comes in which I'm going to show you later all right then so pretty straightforward so let's have a go now at the second verse one two three four M6 south down Liverpool where they play the west coast sound So there you go. So that is 
verse and chorus and obviously there are more verses and more choruses but that's exactly what it does throughout the rest of the song. Right so next up I'm going to show you how to play the little riff that occurs at the beginning of the song and at the end of the chorus. So what it's doing is it's copying the last line of the chorus. Never gonna take her away. How do we play this? Well we're going to be using on your strumming hand just your first finger to pluck every note and we're going to start off using the pinky the fourth finger on the tenth fret on the first first string then we're going to go down to the seventh fret on the first string using your first finger then we're going to go back up to the tenth fret but on the second string this time again using your fourth finger then we're going to go on to the 8th fret using your 2nd finger on the 2nd string sorry, and then back up to the 10th fret on the 2nd string using your 4th finger again, and then back on to the 8th fret 2nd string with your 2nd finger again. Then we're going to use our 3rd finger on the 9th fret but we're going to do a slide up and down onto the 7th fret so we're going to go so you're just going to pluck the note once but you're going to slide from the ninth fret down to the seventh and back up to the ninth again so watch very carefully so I'm going to put that together okay so that's the opening riff and it also occurs at the end of every chorus however you can also play on a low down G ukulele. Now what that means is on a lot of ukuleles they've got a high G but on some ukuleles you've got a low G. So what we're going to do now is play the riff lower down and what, what you can do is play the riff together in unison so you've got like this octave you've got one ukulele playing the riff high and the other ukulele playing the riff low so to play it low you're doing this okay so what I'm gonna do now is show you how to play the, the riff lower down using a low G ukulele so we're gonna start off with our third finger on the third fret second string and then you're gonna pluck the open second string then we're going to use our second finger on the second fret, third string. Then pluck the open third string. Then we're going to do a kind of hammer on uh, movement here. So we're going to pluck, use our second finger on the second fret, fourth string. And then pull the string back with your second finger. So you get that kind of da da And then pluck the string again with your second finger back on the second fret fourth string. So it should sound like this. And that's the little riff that occurs at the end of the song. So it's never gonna take her away. Okay, so that is the little riff, so you can play it on a both a uh, low G ukulele and a high G. Okay then, so next up we've got the bit for all you bass players out there. So this beast is a ukulele bass. So what I'm going to do first of all is tell you the difference between the ukulele bass and a normal ukulele. Well, your normal soprano concert and tenor ukes are tuned to G, C, E, A, whereas the strings here are tuned to a, E, A, D and G. So in effect, they're the bottom strings, bottom four strings of a guitar are the same as the bass guitar. So it's E, A, D, G. Okay, so to begin with, what we're gonna do is we've gotta play the bass over that opening riff. So we're just playing two notes in effect. So you're playing the seventh fret on the third string so one two three and that's the seventh fret up so one two three four five six seven and I tend to use for some reason I use my fourth finger 
and I'm plucking the string with my first finger. So it's and then an open open third string, the open A string. And then we're into the song. So what we're gonna do now is play what is in effect a kind of walking bass line. So we're gonna start off by using the second finger on the fifth fret on the bottom E string. So pluck that. Then we're on to the fourth fret, third string, using your first finger. Then the seventh fret on the third string, using your fourth finger. Then we're gonna go on to the fourth fret, second string, using your first finger. Then back onto the seventh fret, third string, using your fourth finger. So what we've got now is this. And we're gonna repeat that three times. So it goes. And then to finish the phrase off, we're gonna use our fourth finger on the seventh fret, second string. Then the first finger on the fourth fret, second string. Then your fourth finger on the seventh fret, third string and your first finger on the fourth fret, third string. So this whole riff together should sound something like this. Okay, so let's now play that with the first verse. A one, two, three, four. Said farewell to my last toe. Tell it where I was so much kind of a bold. Glasgow town never brought me down when I was heading on down the road. Carlisle City never looked so pretty and a candle freeway is fast. Slow down, drive, I wanna stay alive, I wanna make this journey last. Okay, so that's the verse. Now the chorus is even easier because we're just doing a simple walking up and down bass line. So you're gonna start off again with your second finger on the fifth fret bottom string. Then your first finger on the fourth fret third string. Then your fourth finger on the seventh fret third string. Then your first finger on the fourth fret second string. Then your fourth finger on the seventh fret second string. Then your first finger on the fourth fret second string. Then your fourth finger on the seventh fret third string. And then your first finger on the fourth fret third string. And we're just gonna do that throughout the chorus. So it goes one, two, three, four. Helen. Helen Wheels Ain't nobody else gonna know the way she feels Helen Helen Wheels And uh, now this is the bit that's, that just goes to the beginning So again you're gonna use your fourth finger, seventh fret on the third string Never gonna take her up and then open A string. So, thanks for joining me, and don't forget to like and to subscribe. Thanks very much for joining me, and all the best. And don't forget, keep on strumming. Take care for now. Bye-bye.